everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we are looking at this little powerhouse of an amplifier. It's the DNA 800, an 800 watt little Class D beast from David Norshall. Amplification, DNA. David Norshall is an amp builder. Legendary, dare I say legendary, David. Yeah, because uh, he helped design such amps as OSWR and Eden and sort of pushed bass amplification into a whole new direction, which has benefited us for the last 30 years. So now David is building his own stuff and uh, it is all hand handmade excuse me, and hand tested uh, as opposed to computer tested, I suppose, here in the United States. So let's get right to it. This front panel looks menacing and crazy. Uh, it's actually very useful and has a lot of cool stuff happening. So. Very simple. This is the input jack. This is the tuner mute, which is also controlled via foot switch if you like. This is the input pad on your active and passive basis. This is the shape control. Now the shape control is a complex series of EQs that uh, sort of does a nice big mid scoop. And uh, David's famous for this. Um, you know, the SWR stuff has it, the Eden stuff has it. Uh, not to mention other brands, but this is just stuff that he's worked on. Well, he keeps perfecting it and he keeps moving forward. So this is a really cool feature and I'll show you what this can do shortly. And the EQ section can actually be turned off via foot switch as well. We have an onboard compression system here. So we've got the threshold and the ratio. Then we have the master. And there are little LED indicators underneath that you can see. Uh, or maybe, you know, they're, they're really difficult, but this one is on, so you can definitely see that. But, uh, but there's indicators uh, on the compression. There's indicators if your EQ is off. Uh, of course, the tuner uh, indicator. So, um, and then you control the, uh, the shape as well. So, I mean, it's Oh, very tiny underneath there. So let us get to how this amp sounds. So uh, on the top of this, I had the shape control on at about 12 o'clock. I'm gonna roll it back and let you hear what it sounds like with no shape and then we're gonna kind of dirty the water a little bit. And, uh, and they say to pepper this to taste and be careful because you can get too muddy too quickly and lost in the mix. So let us go through that. So again, this is the opening bit. All right, now let's take that shape all the way off. Now the bass doesn't sound bad, it just sounded a whole lot better when that shape was rolled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and dial with one hand and play with the other so you can kind of hear what it does. Now we're in that dirty range. And it's really thick. I mean, it's a really thick so uh, tone. So live, you probably don't want to use this, except maybe if you're an overdrive guy, um, you know, want to get some different sounds happening. This is a great way to do that because some OD pedals work with different EQs and with this one knob, you might be able to dial in something really hip. Especially if you get down low on this and throw an overdrive on it, then you've got some keyboard emulation. Could be really, really happening. So um, the graphic EQ or the EQ, excuse me, is uh, it's pretty powerful, but it's a, it's straight ahead. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of bump on the bass. I'm not gonna roll through every single EQ possibility um, because that's sort of self-explanatory, but I've got a nice little uh, dial in right here. And so we are going to run over here to the compression. And there you can see a kick in. Also made this, this indicator pop in a little bit. But it's really nice having this onboard compression so you can really lock in what you're trying to do. I mean, totally smack it. And, but using in conjunction with maybe your pedals, you can get some really cool effects happening with that. And, uh, and again, this is gonna be tro controlled via foot switch, so that's really helpful too. So uh, some really cool tones happening uh, with the DNA 800. Let's take a look at the back panel. 
All right, so here's the back panel of the DNA 800. And before I get to the back panel, you can see that we are running DI today, which goes into the Apogee Quartet into Pro Tools. So basically bass, amp, to your speakers. So um, here we are on the back panel, and uh, it's pretty simple, but it's not so simple. So let's start over here. We have the power switch, of course. We've got speak on connections, and then we also have quarter inch out, which is nice. Uh, and we run that into four ohms. You can run it to two. I believe is what they say, all the way down to two. But uh, we have the DI level, and then we have the aux level. Yes, you can plug things in. And, uh, and now why, why on earth do we have RCA jacks? I don't know, to be honest, because I'm just, you know, just caught up hanging out with the amp for a little while. But my theory is that with RCA jacks, a little bit more contact is made between, uh, between metal. And so as opposed to like a, a quarter inch in, or a, excuse me, an eighth inch in. So that's the only thing I can think of there. But anyhow, there are RCA inputs um, if you want to plug in your eight track player. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Um, no, if you want to plug in an aux input for rehearsal, uh, there it is. We also have a myriad of, is six a myriad? I don't know. We have a lot of inputs over here, a quarter inch input uh, garden, if you would. Now we have the foot switches in. We have the effects center return. Uh, we also have a slave in. You can use this as a preamp. Um, we have the tuner. And then we also have this guy. What is this guy? Well, this guy is actually an input, a rear panel input, which I think more bass builders should put. Uh, and guitar builders, but um, it's, if you're building a really clean rack, you have wireless units, tuners, all that kind of stuff, you don't have to have a cable running to the front. So it stays very clean. That's a really nice feature. So as you can see, DNA feature packed uh, on the front panel and back panel, a lot of usable things. Uh, compact, lightweight, put it in your backpack and go. So make sure you check out this DNA 800 for yourself at your local store, or you can read my written review on this particular product in the pages of Premier Guitar. Available at newsstands everywhere, especially that guy over on 56, is it Lennox? 56, and, and you can get a falafel right across the street. Oh, falafel's so good. Any, I digress. Anyhow, go online, premierguitar.com. You can check it out there as well. While you're there, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See all the videos. Access and Artifacts, one of my favorites. I don't get to play the fun stuff. No, that's a lie. I get to play a lot of fun stuff. But John Bollinger gets to play a lot of fun stuff. Check it all out. For Premier Guitar, this is Steve Cook. I'll see you real soon. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.